You're listening to a podcast from the Finnish Football Show. Hello and welcome to the Finnish Football Show. My name is Kekki Mulleri and I'm joining you today with this bonus episode after I attended the Helmerit training camp and media mix zone session today on Wednesday the 13th of July, a day after Helmerit's narrow defeat, 1-0 defeat to Denmark in, in Milton Keynes, which uh, after after the result that followed in the evening effectively put them out of the championship. Um, I was lucky enough to attend the uh, attend the training session, watch the girls do some some light warming down and um, yeah just a bit of light training and then <laughs> to be honest there was a cricket match going on quite a few of them were uh, were quite entertained by by the cricket match at their at their training base there but um after that there was a there was a short media session and I was lucky enough to speak to some of the players Yenu Danielson Linda Salstrom and uh, Evelina Summanen and um you can hear those interviews now so uh, yeah Tune in, let us know what you think in the comments, like and subscribe. And um, hopefully after the uh, Germany game on Saturday, where a few of us will be attending, we'll be back to give you a full roundup of um, Helmerit's Euro 2022 campaign. Moro Linda, I'm Kekke Müller, Finnish Football Cups podcastista, jos mä voin kysyä englanniksi, onko okay. kuka ok? Joo, vastaanko mä suomeksi vai englanniksi? <laughs> englanniksi. Okay. Um, uh, so, thanks for joining us, Linda, for a few minutes. Um, just to reflect on yesterday's game, obviously, disappointing result in so tough conditions. It was, for us fans, it was warm enough. So, for you players, I can't believe how it must have been out there. But, first of all, how do you reflect on, on your own performance? Yeah... The weather was really hot, and as a Finnish person, I don't <laughs> do handle the heat so well. I, I would actually prefer to play in minus degrees instead of uh, as hot as it was yesterday. But yeah, it's the same conditions for for the opposing team also. So I'm not gonna hide behind that. But yeah, we we fought well, but it just wasn't enough yesterday. And and yeah, I had a quite a difficult game yesterday the Danish team had scouted me well the back line dropped very fast taking away all the space behind the back line for me to run into so that made it difficult for me and, and yeah Pernille Harder were class player right uh, place at the right time and she scored for them from the um, from the sideline it, it looked as though the um The referee was maybe letting the Danish players get away with some little bit rough play. I mean, um, would you agree with that? There was a couple of times where we thought as fans that the referee could have blown for, for fouls. And do you think that having seen that, maybe Finland could have played a little bit rougher themselves? Yeah, perhaps. But yeah, I'm not going to blame the referee or like find any excuses on the outside. Mm. We... We we tried, but it just wasn't enough yesterday. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm proud of how the girls did, and we we never gave up. And and at the end, Jenny had a fantastic shot, and yeah, the margins are very small. And so after leaving everything out there on the pitch yesterday, mentally and physically, are you guys able to build yourself up for the for the final game, knowing that unfortunately now we can't progress, but we still have to play a, an amazing Germany side and and so are you able to lift yourselves up is it can you relax and just enjoy that game now of the situation or is it like we just have to go and fight some more yeah we're gonna go and fight some more like uh, we we haven't uh, given up yet of course today we're still disappointed but then we start uh, focusing on the Germany game and we're here to represent our country and we want to make uh, the Finnish people proud and of course we want to end with a good performance and hopefully our first points in this tournament. Sure, just on your one final point there when you said you want to make um, Finnish country proud, I mean um, how do you reflect on the support that you've received in the stadium at Milton Keynes so oh, far? Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. The support on the stadium and also from back in Finland, like uh, it's been amazing to see all the support we have received and it definitely gives us an extra boost. 
that's great so um final thing happy birthday to you linda and thank you let's hope for some some points on on saturday and thanks for talking to the finnish football show thank you kiitos kiitos, kiitos. Moi, Jenno. Um, thanks for taking the time to speak to us today. Obviously, disappointing result yesterday, but how do you reflect on your your own minutes? Obviously, we had that spectacular shot that was so close to to going in. So, how do you reflect on your your own minutes? Uh, I wasn't. It wasn't a long time to be on the pitch. Uh, the only thing I was thinking about is that okay, well, we just need to score. Uh, I felt like I did everything I could. With the minutes I got, so uh, I'm not gonna say that I'm happy about the performance, but I don't know what I could have done more. Yeah, yeah. we certainly saw some some really nice touches from you when you came on. Um, I know it's it's difficult to say, but you are you are obviously hungry for more and more minutes. Like um, I guess you are always ready, but is it is it maybe a tinge of frustration that you you have to wait so late into the game to come on? Yeah, I I think it was the same thing against uh, Spain. Um, it is frustrating to like to stand on the sideline and be ready. But obviously, I'm not making the 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 subs or the the decisions when I'm gonna go in. But yeah, I'm hungry and uh, I'm hoping that maybe at some point I'm gonna get more minutes. Sure. So, looking forward to the Germany game. We know they're a tough opposition. You guys, especially the the girls who played um, played the majority of the game, left so much out there on on the pitch yesterday. We could see like how physically and mentally drained that some of the girls were. Do, first of all, do do you expect some changes in personnel for the Germany game? And secondly, um, how how does the group motivate themselves for that that final game? Seeing as now we we can't progress. Um. I don't know if the, the starting eleven is going to change too much. Um, we'll see. I think uh, it's been pretty obvious what the starting lineup looks like. Uh, so I don't see it, I don't see it changing. But how to motivate us together or be motivated together is. Uh, I think we need to just like sit down together. We saw the much, like the game yesterday against uh, uh, between uh, German and Spain. But after the after the final whistle, we didn't speak anything about it. Even though I think everybody knows what the situation is now, mm-hmm. uh, I think we just need to really like talk with one another and uh, make a plan how to how to gain energy and like keep the motivation up until the, the last game. Is there some situation where you can? After yesterday's results, almost relax and try and enjoy this final game, or and, and the experience of this Euro, or or is it you need to go there with a mental and physical toughness again because Germany are such a tricky opponent? I think it's both. I think uh, we need to actually like understand that this is a once in a lifetime experience and like enjoy and take the most of it. Um, but at the same time, we know that Germany has been playing really well and we don't want to get our asses, asses kicked so i think it's like it's really humbling game on sunday on saturday and uh, yeah we are going to do our best and whatever we can do to make everybody proud of us and i don't think we're going to go down there and and like give up already before the game even starts so i think it's both sure plus one last question you know um How is the reaction from the from the team and the and the wider squad to how the the fans have been in in the stadium here at Milton Keynes? I think it's been amazing. I think the support that we have had the past two games has been unreal. We, I didn't or we didn't think that it's going to be so many people watching us and coming in rooting for us. So I think that has given us like so much energy and so much more motivation to like actually fight through like 90 plus minutes and uh, we, we we the whole team and the squad and everybody really appreciates that lovely thank you for talking to us you know and you. good luck for for the next game and also for your time back in sweden when that kicks off thank you, thank you. Evelina, thanks for joining us on the finnish football show today for a little bit match reaction from yesterday can you um just put into words how you feel about your your own performance in in yesterday's game against Denmark. Um, 
well, obviously, like uh, it's a disappointment that we lost. And uh, whenever you whenever you lose as a team, you need to reflect to your own game as well. Uh, well, I guess I guess everyone has a little bit worse days, but uh, it's it's a chance to learn and move on. And I like it's it's part of the game. But yeah, uh, obviously, I think that I could have done better. You seem to be. Um... Having some words with Anna Signuel halfway through the second half or a little bit later into the match where you maybe pushed up a little bit more forward to play maybe as a, a, a target player. Is um, is that something that could have been exploited a little earlier in the game, you think? Uh, yeah, I was talking with Anna just to just to be clear what's the situation, what are we what are we wanting with with, with changing the formation a little bit. And uh, yeah, she was asking me to be a little bit higher up and uh, helping Sunny there. Um, yeah, uh, and I do what's told. So yeah. So um, it's been a couple of couple of tough games. I mean, especially yesterday, we could see at the end you guys physically and mentally you left everything out there on the pitch. Is it? How do you build yourself up for the next game against Germany? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. When, whenever you play a game, you want to leave everything. But yesterday, like just also because of the result, it was so so so, so tough mentally as well. Um, but like we do always, we we prepare for the next game and then we get ready and uh, just like focus on that from now on. And like there's no not too much time to think about yesterday and just like try to get the best result we can from the last game and. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Show us what we can do as a team, and actually, like, yeah, enjoy. Sure, you said so. Um, obviously, now it's it's impossible for us to progress from the group. So, is there a chance just to maybe? Obviously, Germany are a quality team, but is there a chance to maybe just relax a little bit and try and in, in, enjoy the football a little bit more? And do you believe that there will be any change to the starting eleven, considering the um, the situation? Um, well, I don't know about the starting eleven. I'm not there. Uh, anything to decide about that but yeah I hope we can be relaxed we don't have any pressure uh, like I obviously know every one of these girls are like a quality players and like there is so much to show so I just I just hope that we can get the best out of us in the last game so after when when all is said and done will you guys um, analyze these games as a, as a group after the three games are complete will you look over the videos and, and try to analyze them and see where Helmerich goes forward from here uh, well, honestly, I haven't like looked at, like I don't know the plan. What's after sure. after the game? So like my focus is just here and now, and then like it's 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 a lot of good games. I think something to we can reflect on. We can things that we should take forward with us. Things that we need to improve to be actually on the top level in Europe and in the world. So uh, it's a, it's a it's a long process to get better. Get good so things are not gonna happen in in one night so i think i think it's important is to keep on working consistent and uh yeah obviously like in the future just look back and what we can learn from these games sure one one final point about just like to ask how you feel the um the supporters have conducted themselves in the stadium there at milton Keynes and and how that support has um has been felt with you personally and also as the wider wider squad uh it's absolutely amazing it's uh, the support that we're getting uh when we're playing uh when what we see from the social media how people are cheering for us like that's uh, that's unbelievable like it's you feel like as a player you feel so honored to be in this position that there is actually like it feels like the whole finland is behind you even though the results hasn't been what they have been but like what we wanted but yeah, it's a, it is something that you wish to see in every game, every qualification game, friendly game. Hope we can get people moving, coming to watch our games. Like, hope we can sh show something that, like, that we are actually like a good group of people as well, not just the players. Certainly, I think that really comes through. Ever, thanks for speaking to us at Finnish Football Show. Good luck for Saturday and also for when the WSL season resumes here in England. Thank you. Kitos. Kitos. 
but I hope you enjoyed those little snippets, those um, those interview pieces with myself. Um, it was really great to speak to Yenu Danielson, Linda Salstrom, and uh, Evelina Summanen. So it's all, it's always great to speak to the players. Obviously, they're feeling they were feeling very down. I'm sure you could tell by the uh, by the reaction to some of my questions there. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, as I said, we'll be we'll be back soon with a uh, a full roundup of Euro 2022. Thank you. Bye bye. You have been listening to the Finnish Football Show. You can find us online at finnishfootballshow.com. Remember to subscribe to the show wherever you're listening or watching. You can follow the Finnish Football Show page and group on Facebook and on Instagram. See the links in the episode description below. You can also connect with the four hosts on Twitter at Explore Finland, at FC Sormi, at Escape to Sormi, at Kekimula. Links to the Finnish Football Show merch stores are also in the episode description.